left and right. I'm going to go left and right. Start the first jab here. The reason I do this on the first one, up the middle, is because hands, high feet. If he's paying attention to my jab, if he doesn't pay attention to my back foot. I want to step as my second jab is coming out. This is a subtle step. You're not taking a big giant step. You're not moving. Big action causes big reaction. Subtle action sometimes, subtle reaction, sometimes, most of the time, subtle action, no reaction. That's what you want. You don't want him, if I step off and he sees it, he just adjusts too. But if I give him something to think about, I can get this angle, and a lot of the time, since he's focused on his jab, he doesn't even realize. Cut out super hard, they're always in the center, right? Yeah. Subtle step. Only, ideally, if I'm in front of him and his shoulders even with that one, I only need to get my angle up to where I'm here. You don't have to. You don't have to jump. Okay. Try not to get in this big habit. Because then you have to think you're pushing off, and then you have to stop yourself. If you're having to stop yourself, you're doing too much. You're exploding too much, you're pushing off too much. It should just be, yeah, fucking hit him on ice. It should be subtle enough and controlled. You shouldn't have to absorb and recoil and push back. It takes too much energy, it takes too much effort, but also he sees everything that you're doing. Third, hit your jab, and as the first one comes back, right? You can even jab faint in front of all of you, right? Touch, faint, jab. Okay? So when I hit my one to my lead side, as the jab is coming back, that is when I step. If you're doing this right, it should almost look like your shoulder's coming to the front a little bit, like you're fainting your feet. That's all I need, right there. I don't have to, and now I'm out of range. Just enough. Touch, faint, jab. Fire down the middle. Got it? We're gonna add kicks, we're gonna add counters, we're gonna add all that shit. But those are the four directions that I want. You go one, one, two to start. You can touch faint in between all these since it's your fast pass. Touch your jab, faint, and then one, one, two. You're jabbing twice, so how many steps are you taking? I don't wanna see this dog shit where you step on the first one and then reach the second one. Where you reach on the first one and then step on the second one. Jam yourself up. Two jabs. Steps. So partner back up with him. Same thing going backwards. Touch, faint, touch, faint, on one, two. Touch, faint. One step off, one, two, touch, faint. One, one two. Okay. L step, touch, step. Fire on the two. You just turn right back into it. Okay? Go on lead side. Touch. Step as the jab's coming back. Pivot and your one comes out at the same time. Okay? The least, the, the less time that's here, the higher chance you have to land. If you go like this and you wait eight seconds before you throw a one two, you're allowing him to adjust. What's the difference in this and this? Fucking nothing. Literally fucking nothing. You just move. You're dead equal right here. Take advantage of the fact that you're off and he's not. You want to fire on him while he's adjusting. Got it? Make it out of your work. Go. walk Keith down, if I'm walking someone down, I like to go with a lead leg first, and we'll let you guys decide what you want to do here, because sometimes it, it might be a little bit different, right, so take this into account, typically if I'm walking someone down, I like to end the body, take them, if they're walking, if they walk down, the hands tend to go up, because safety first, protect the main frame, and it opens up the body, right, we touch, we faint, I'm going to walk that in if I need to. Now, if he stops moving while I'm throwing and he plants himself, I'm not going to walk this in anymore. You just 
turn into a switch. That's the same attack you just made it to do, right? You get way too close, you can change that to a knee. So if I'm going backwards, touch, paint, he comes in, one, one, two. Now that I'm here, I can switch going backwards if I want to. You can also, if he's still coming forward, hit the inside leg, especially as he's stepping forward, if you can catch that shot, you get that nice little drag that you get. You can follow it up. Or throw the low kick going backwards. Throwing a leg kick walking someone down is not a bad idea, but if their weight comes into their back leg, like if they're going backwards, the weight's in their back leg, it's easy for them to just lift up and check. You just come in, barreling down, it's very easy for them to just pull up their leg and check it out. Not that it's the wrong idea, you just gotta know, like if he's backing up heavy in his front leg, Chop it, obviously, but you just gotta be careful. Now, if he's walking me down, chances are he's heavy in his front leg. That's why throwing at the leg isn't a bad idea. You just have to be good at pulling your hips back, right? If you can throw, it's fine. He comes in, one, one, two. I can throw that around. You just have to pull your hips out. Okay, so normally if I take a step, Kick, I step out, right? He's at 12, I step at 11. What do I do is he's coming at me, he's set to think six is behind me, step at seven, right? So my foot is gonna point back and out. Okay. He's up to keep that space. So I say, he comes forward. I can throw there. Or I can go to the body too. Go forward. I'm right back. Got it? Either one of those. Step it off left and right. Got it. Bank. One, two. Five so cut this way. He's moving this way. Let him run right into it. Go back on this side. Touch. Bank. Touch. Keep adjust. Doesn't make a lot of sense for me to throw this way. If he's moving away from it. Back leg. Low or high. I like going high on this side. So I can keep it right into it. Right, touch, face. Just let him run right into it. Throw it right behind your shot. Directly behind the two. It doesn't have to be here. Okay. Or you can do that same cadence and go low if you suck at high kicks. Got it? Yeah, and you can also... When I say like walk him down, like for the drill sake, we're kind of just going forward, but right? you can still cut it down. But you can cut that outside. You can cut that outside. Either one of those, or you can pay back the other way, which a lot you can do just for drill sake. Um, Got it. Had the kicks on. Make it. Make sure that the kick makes sense.